What's going on YouTube? GeoSnowRight here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for something to happen for the iOS 11 to let you install some tweaks or do modifications to the system. Houdini has been updated for the iOS 11 and uh, we have quite some good news about Houdini and uh, about the project itself and also some bad news about this. So let's start. I'm going to start with the fact that Houdini is now on, um, on the second beta which is B2 and also it has a uh, minor fix which fixes the big boot uh, logos on iOS 11, but now it supports iOS 11 from iOS 11 Point oh, up to iOS 11.1.2. There is no exploit for iOS 11.2 and for iOS 11.2.1, so don't expect a jailbreak or Houdini to be updated for these versions anytime soon. Um, it's a problem that you updated to that version, so yeah, that's something. And unfortunately, no, you can't downgrade using blobs from iOS 11.2 or 11.2.1 anywhere back to 11.1.2, 11.1, 10.3.3 or something like that. So it's unfortunate. But um, if you're running on iOS 11 or iOS 11.1.2 in between, including those two versions, or iOS 10.x up to 10.3.2, uh, iOS 10.3.3 is not supported for some reason, you can use Houdini. Now what Houdini um, allows you to do is pretty much uh, have some jailbreak functionality. It's not a jailbreak, this is not a jailbreak, but it allows you to have some jailbreak functionality um, even without the jailbreak stuff, even without Cydia and stuff like that. And you are able to modify some system stuff, uh, you're able to modify icons, install some themes, although themes are now disabled temporarily in um, for iOS 11. And um, it helps you change the boot logo for iOS 11, the emoji fonts, and uh, you know, various system-wide uh, modifications. Now, there is a lot of stuff that people have installed on their devices using Houdini, which is quite okay, but um, it's not the same thing as a jailbreak, so you should keep it in mind. It's It shouldn't be um, dangerous to use if you have an iOS 11 device and you're waiting for a jailbreak, just don't do modifications to the system that you would uh, regret afterwards. So, that's something you should keep in mind. Now, you can download the beta to R1 and uh, it comes as an IPA uh, that you download and uh, you should probably only download it from here, from, um, from this GitHub address, which is in the description down below. Do, do not download it from other sources like, I don't know, TikTok or so on, because they are bundling with ads, which is very bad because you are no longer able to do proper verifications after that. Anyways, this is how you install it. You download the IPA, then you open CDI Impactor, which looks like this. CDI Impactor can be downloaded from CDI Impactor website, which is in the description down below. The application looks like this and works on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS and you simply deploy the IPA to the device, exactly like any other jailbreak up to this point, starting from, you know, Pangu. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, what about the project itself? Well, it has been made publicly available, finally, which is something good, but this also comes with some bad stuff. It's been made public um, a few hours ago, seven hours, five hours ago, so this is very recent, but with that, Abraham Masri also has a statement, which is this one here, quote, all of my jailbreak related projects are now open source. I won't be working on this project or anything public anymore. But if you are interested in making improvements, go for it. Good luck." End quote. So it's unfortunate, but this means that we're not going to see any more jailbreak stuff from Abraham Masri, at least not for now. I do not know whether he's going to change his mind or not. He might be, I don't know, but for the moment he seems to have had enough. So um, yeah, but if you want to check out the projects he has, you can now um, open the uh, source code and do modifications and try to improve them if you want. And they're all available in here, including Houdini project, which is pretty dope. I have taken a look on the code itself and it's pretty, um, it's pretty well made. So yeah, if you want to take a look at Saigon, you can also check that, uh, which uh, has been updated 19 days ago, or if you want to take a look at Saigon with Vortex, which has been updated uh, 6 days ago, is now in here. So. Um, that's pretty much what's going on. Houdini is now available. We're still waiting for Sorik to update his Cydia and the substrate in order for um, Liber iOS or for other jailbreaks that are created for iOS 11 to start, you know, using Cydia properly. But while you're waiting for that, you have Houdini, which is pretty good. And in my opinion, it gives you some, um, some 
you know, degree of modifications to the system and some uh, some freedom. Now, uh, speaking about Cydia and alternatives, uh, Installer 5 is on its way in. So um, there's currently development on a uh, Cydia alternative called Installer 5, and I'm going to talk about that in a specific video once we get more information about it. But suffice it to say that it's going to be a Cydia alternative, a fully fledged Cydia alternative, and uh, it might change the game at some point. So keep that in mind. But for the moment, yes, we're still waiting for Sorik to update his mobile substrate and to update Cydia so that we can have a full jailbreak for the iOS 11. Anything else is in place. If you are, you know, uh, impatient and you can't wait, you can use Houdini to have some degree of changes over the system. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to press the subscribe button to stay updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.